एम डॉक्टर मुग्धा भंडावर ऑब्सिटेशन एंड गायनेकोलॉजिस्ट इन पेस हॉस्पिटल हाईटेक सिटी हैदराबाद टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ओ आर एन सिस्ट What are first of all ovaries? Ovaries are two small organs situated just beside the uterus. The main job of ovaries is to release egg. Sometimes due to multiple reasons uh, there might be an accumulation of fluid, blood or any other solid substance leading to an enlargement of ovary from 2 to 3 cm ovary to even 10 to 15 cm at times. So this enlargement is called ovarian cyst. It forms like a bubble. So that bubble is called as ovarian cyst. So, uh, first of all, the very very common cyst that is functional cyst, which generally occurs in the young reproductive age group. Generally, when their ovaries are highly functional, when their hormones are uh, functioning at a peak, at that time there can be a functional cyst. Functional cyst like a follicular cyst or a corpus luteum cyst. Uh, second one is benign ovarian tumors like serous cyst adenoma, mucinous cyst adenoma, or Brenner's tumor or dermoid cyst. Or the third one, which is neither a tumor nor a functional cyst, called as endometriotic cyst uh, or chocolate cyst. It can be rather very very painful. Actually, frankly speaking, there we don't know exact reason of why the ovarian cysts form, but we can assume it forms in many uh, young women having irregular cycles, basically due to hormonal imbalance. And at times they uh, just present with no symptoms, but they are incidentally detected. Or even uh, it is very common in pregnancies as well, or uh, patients uh, with prior pelvic infections or any pelvic surgeries in them also, ovarian cysts can be commonly seen. So mostly ovarian cysts, cysts are not symptomatic. Uh, depending on the size of the cyst, uh, they can be symptomatic as well as non-symptomatic. Generally, a smaller cyst are found uh, incidentally during some other workups. They are seen to have uh, ovarian cysts uh, or at times they can be presented with missed periods or irregular periods or uh, at times bloating sensation or dull aching pain in the abdomen. On the other hand, uh, they can endometriotic cyst or chocolate cyst can be very, very painful. They can have painful menses, uh, back pain, constipation or pain while defecating or even, uh, uh, you know, uh, painful sex can be present in such patients. So, uh, that endometriotic cyst can be actually very, very painful. Uh, on the other hand, even uh, a normal cyst can be presented as infertility. So, even during the infertility workups, we find out them to have uh, patients to have cyst. So, right now at present, the most leading complication of ovarian cyst is infertility. So, generally uh, patients with persistent uh, irregular periods form cysts and because of which they can be presented as infertility. So, that's the, uh, one of the most common cause of uh, infertility is to rule out first of all cyst. Then second is there is a risk of torsion. So a long standing cyst can also lead to torsion of the cyst which can be presented as excruciating pain even not relieved on any uh, medicines or any pain relief or sometimes even a cyst can lead to rupture uh, because of which also they can be presented as uh, acute pain in abdomen which is not relieved after any medication. They can have some subdiaphragmatic pain or many other pains related to the rupture of the cyst or at times a long standing case which is not treated can even turn to a cancerous cyst. So, uh, we should definitely not ignore a cyst. Uh, definitely everybody should go and follow up with their doctors to work up for the cyst and uh, follow it accordingly to prevent any cancerous formation also. So, as said, uh, ovarian cysts are not symptomatic. So, uh, generally they are incidentally found out when we are investigating for some other problems. But then uh, just to looking when patients come with symptom of irregular periods or anything similar, uh, we go for the basic most that is ultrasound, uh, abdomen pelvis in which we can look for uh, the cyst very clearly. In case if there is any doubt regarding anything like uh, what is there in the cyst like fluid filled or blood filled or even 
even uh, when we want to look deeper into the cyst, uh, looking at the size and the components of the cyst, we go for an MRI or CT scan. So, uh, in uh, these are the various ways in which we can find out ovarian cyst. Uh, generally, a smaller cyst of 3 to 4 centimeter functional cyst specifically uh, does can be just observed for a couple of months to see the reducing size or uh, it might go on its own as well or at times hormonal suppressants might be given by your doctors uh, or if the persistent cyst of more than 3 to 4 centimeter for 3 to 6 months can be taken for surgeries. Uh, Cancerous cysts definitely require uh, surgery along with adjuvant chemo or radiations uh, and then uh, specifically endometriotic cysts or even a dermoid cyst requires surgery along with the medical management uh, to suppress its occurrence again. But generally ovarian cysts can definitely reoccur again because uh, due to the hormonal imbalance which still continues or if not taken proper care of hormones regulation it can reoccur again. Since uh, we have not yet found out the exact reason of ovarian cysts, but since we can even see it more commonly with people with irregular periods, uh, uh, so the most common cause we can assume to be a stress related or hormonal imbalance related uh, factor. So the basic most thing that I would advise you all to do is first of all start on with the proper exercise regime, can be a yoga, can be a walk uh, to prevent you know hormonal imbalance even breathing exercises with good yoga practice meditation practice can lead to hormonal balance because of which the occurrence of cyst can be reduced also a proper uh, diet with good amount of proteins and carbohydrates and uh, can lead to good balance of hormones because of which the occurrence of cyst can be reduced Uh, so, yes, depending on the type of cyst, it can be dangerous also. A cancerous cyst is definitely dangerous. A functional cyst uh, if can might not be dangerous because at times, 90% uh, of the times it goes on its own with the follow-up. Uh, but endometriotic cyst can be uh, dangerous as well because it might lead to, you know, severe symptoms like pain and all. Or at times even a smaller cyst, uh, a bigger cyst can lead to torsion or uh, severe pain in abdomen because of rupture cyst so at times it can be dangerous uh, yes ovarian cysts are nowadays very common because of uh, a lot of people going through hormonal imbalance the main reason of it being the stress so everybody at every age group is under stress so because of which they are always under uh, hormonal imbalance which is the most common reason of uh, having ovarian cysts. So generally a normal ovary in the adult reproductive age group is of 4 into 3 into 2 centimeter and in menopausal age group it is in the range of uh, 2 into 1.5 into 0.5 centimeter. So uh, a cyst of uh, 3 to 4 centimeter can be still considered as normal but it also depends on the type of cyst like a cancerous cyst of any size cannot be normal uh, or an endometriotic cyst also cannot be normal even a dermoid cyst cannot be normal only functional cyst we can consider as okay to observe for uh, 3 to 4 centimeter cyst for a couple of months. Other than that any cyst uh, other than functional cyst cannot be considered as very normal cyst. So, uh, any cyst larger than uh, 4 to 5 centimeter can be considered as dangerous. Even functional cysts larger than them can be considered uh, dangerous. Uh, and uh, a cyst like endometriotic or cancerous cyst of any size is dangerous. So, uh, it should not be ignored. Yes, ovarian cysts can lead to infertility, the uh, reason of it being hormonal imbalance because of which there is ovarian cyst and so a patient with infertility uh, on the workup can found to have ovarian cysts. Uh, not all cysts can lead to cancers, uh, so uh, but a cyst 
can be cancerous on its own as well so definitely depending on the age group and depending on uh, what are the symptoms and other things related uh, so yes awareness can be cancerous Structured ovarian cyst might resemble uh, effects of acute abdomen that is severe pain in abdomen with uh, uh, pain in even in the chest pain or uh, back pain with uh, with or without periods not associated actually with the period or sudden breathlessness loss of consciousness can be some of the symptoms of uh, ruptured ovarian cyst. We cannot actually predict what ovarian cyst can lead to irregular periods or because of irregular periods uh, is ovarian cyst. So yes, ovarian cyst can lead to irregular periods. After menopause, there is a sudden decline in the ovarian hormones, uh, basically FSH, LH, estrogens, progesterones, all this. So, because of this, uh, the size of the ovaries shrink uh, drastically and yes, after menopause, most of the ovarian uh, related problems or even uterus related problems go. But if uh, still the ovarian cyst or even any uterine related problem are persistent after menopause, definitely they should be worked. So, ovarian cyst is not same as fibroids. Fibroids is uh, a tumor in the uterus. It can be inside the uterus, outside the uterus or in the muscle of uterus. But cyst is something which occurs in the ovaries. Ovaries are the organs which are beside the uterus and not in the uterus. So, ovarian cyst and fibroids are two different things. If you at all suspect that you have ovarian cysts or you want to uh, have a check if you have ovarian cysts, you should visit your gynecologist uh, to get checked. Uh, on any further doubts, you can consult uh, Dr. Mukta in Pace Hospital High Tech City uh, for more eva um, evaluation and to rule out any more problems related to ovarian cysts or any other associated symptoms.